हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड टूडे इस वीडियो विल बी क्रिएटिंग अ स्टनिंग दिवाली मेकअप लुक फेस्टिव सीजन आर राइट अराउंड द कॉर्नर सी यू गाइज इज गोना सी अ लॉट ऑफ दिवाली वीडियोज फर्स्ट टाइम डूइंग स्किन प्रिपरेशन हेयर सो आई अप्लाइड लॉट ऑफ एलोवेरा जेल ऑन माई फेस नाउ आई एम एक्सफोलिएटिंग माई फेस हेयर फॉर विच आई एम यूजिंग अ रेजर एंड आई एम जस्ट शेविंग माई फेस आई डू दिस ट्वाइस अ मंथ इट is absolutely nice and no your hair doesn't grow back thick at all okay so once i'm done with that i'm just wiping my face with the help of a wet wipe uh, this does exfoliate your skin and remove all the dead skin layer and it instantly adds a nice glow to your face and the makeup application becomes very smooth when you shave your face i'm using the love earth toner here to hydrate my face now and next i'm just using the inside cosmetics eyebrow pencil to fill in my eyebrows meanwhile my toner is helping me hydrate my face and the eyebrow pencil that i'm using from inside cosmetics is absolutely stunning but the product quantity was very less so i'm almost uh, done with the product next up i'm using the lacme match plus prime concealer in the shade coco which is exact match to my skin tone and i'm applying that on my eyelids with the help of a flat brush today we will be creating a gorgeous halo eye makeup look uh for colors i'm going to use a little bit of complementary color scheme so yeah if you want to know how i'm going to create this look then keep on watching i also have a very interesting eye shadow palette today which is the rose quartz eye shadow palette from Huda Beauty it's a stunning palette you guys look at the packaging and now this is what the palette looks like from inside it has such beautiful cool tone colors and the pigmentation of the palette is something you all know that Huda Beauty is just absolutely wonderful for their packaging for their color schemes and also for their uh quality it is very expensive i know that but then you guys can purchase these palettes when uh you find it on sale now i'm just picking up that mid tone brown color and using that as a transition shade now i'm applying this color right from my outer corner to the inner corner area and blending it with a very less pressure i'm doing the same thing on the other side of my eye as well Now I'm just going to pick up a gorgeous dark brown eye shadow here. With the help of a smaller brush, I'm just applying this only on my outer corner and inner corner of my eye. Now you can also use a pencil brush if you want to, but make sure to apply the color only on the outer and inner corner. Now once you're done with that, let's do the same thing on the other side of the eye. Here I'm not uh, you know like picking up lot of eye shadow and just placing it on my eyelids. I'm layering the product as many times as needed. Now you do not need to have a Huda Beauty palette to do this. You can do this with any palette and literally any colors you want. Okay once I'm done with that I'm going to create a cut crease but then only in the center of the eye. So I'm going to cut my crease only in the center of the eye and the inner and outer corner of my eye are still going to be pretty dark and that's what your halo eye makeup should look like. Now I'm also going to connect this right to my upper lash line like so. Now are you guys enjoying my videos if you are then do let me know in the comment section below because I do see that you guys are enjoying my video but then if you do drop a comment then it would you know make my day so please do let me know in the comment section below that what do you guys think about my videos because I've been consistent for a very long time now and if you have any particular video on mind then you guys can let me know or any product that you want me to review review i can still do that for you guys okay so once we are done with this i'm going to pick up the same small brush and i'm also picking up the same brown eye shadow what i'm doing here is i'm just blending the edges of the concealer because as you can see the edges of the concealer are pretty pretty harsh so i'm just trying to smoothen that out i'm going to repeat the same process on the other side of my eye like you guys can see here the edges are very sharp 
so i'm just picking up the same brown eye shadow and i'm blending it on the outer and the inner corner of my eye all right once we are done with that now it's time to add some shimmer if it is a festive season then definitely you need to add a little bit of shimmer right now for shimmer i had a lot of options but i went in with this beautiful shimmer shade and look at the pigmentation you guys i'm just tapping the color on my eyelid and the pigmentation is absolutely gorgeous now i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side of my eye and for eyeliner i'm gonna use a liquid eyeliner it's been ages that i've ever used a liquid eyeliner these days i prefer sketch or gel liners more so i just found this liner the other day and i wanted to try it now this is the lacme iconic eyeliner this is a waterproof eyeliner and it has a beautiful color which is absolutely jet black now i'm going with with a very basic liner here nothing fancy no wing liners or any of that sort once i'm done with this i'm gonna pick up my lashes these lashes are super affordable i think these are 50 rupees uh, per pair of lashes i'm gonna le leave a link in the description below for you guys these lashes are very good in quality you guys and also you get a lot of variance in this so yeah do check it out if you like eyelashes now once i'm done sticking the lashes i'm gonna apply a green kajal this is from the brand called shambor now as you can see my outfit is more on maroon side i wanted to add a pop of green to it and make it look complimenting now for face i'm using the pons moisturizer i'm gonna go in with a little bit of extra moisturizer because i did shave my face and i wanted a lot of lot of hydration on my face and then I'm also going to hydrate my lips until my moisturizer is getting really hydrating and settled into my skin. For primer, I'm using the Lacme Absolute Blur Perfecting Primer because I'm an oily skin girl and I need to fill in the pores before going in with the corrector. So for corrector, I'm using the pack corrector. I'm going to fast forward this a little bit because you guys know how to correct by now, right? all right for foundation i have a new foundation which is the lacme absolute sun dew foundation this is supposed to be a beautiful dewy foundation the shade that i'm using is coco this is one of the darker shade available in the lacme range now i just mixed the sugars illuminating moisturizer in it first of all the shade is a little lighter on my skin but unfortunately this is the darker shade available but don't you worry guys we are gonna fix that for foundations coverage it is pretty high coverage it was able to hide everything on my face and the foundation is very good for people with oily skin because i'm from oily skin and this foundation worked really well for me now like i said the foundation was a little lighter on my skin so i'm going in with the shade called coco lacme concealer which is the exact uh, skin tone concealer now let's just blend this out and i'm gonna show you guys such a beautiful finish the concealer and the foundation gave me so for contour blush highlight i'm using the sugar vivid victory palette this is one of my favorite uh, contour blush highlight palette now once i'm done with contouring my forehead and jawline i'm gonna start applying blush with blush uh, i'm also gonna contour my nose before that so let's just contour my nose and then i'm finally gonna add in a little bit of blush now for blush i went in a little overboard because i love blushes <laughs> all right and um, i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side now for highlighter i'm using the same highlighter it's such a gorgeous highlighter now once i'm done with all of this i'm gonna set my face with the help of my glam translucent powder and finally i'm gonna use a stunning shade of lipstick from plum cosmetics i believe this shade is uh, silly chili i'm gonna uh link down all the products in the description for you guys to check this has a hint of orange to it which makes the shade absolutely gorgeous for the people with dark skin tone 
and i just love the way this lipstick feels on my lip it's absolutely comfortable and it's a matte lipstick it is definitely a non transfer proof lipstick and this is what the outcome is you guys i gave in my skin at least 20 to 25 minutes of time to settle in all the products and i just love the outcome and the finish of this makeup look do let me know what you guys think about